everybody. Welcome back to the Nibiru Channel. It is August 24th, 2016. We have a lot of information to cover for you today. First things first, our atmosphere is heating up. Our oceans are heating up. If you take a look at the current map right now, this will clearly show you we have ocean temperatures coming close to 90 degrees. They are stirring up cyclones and hurricanes, and right now, the state of Florida, east coast of the United States, and possibly the Gulf of Mexico will be hit by multiple hurricanes. Now, there's only one thing in my mind that's heating this atmosphere up, and that's Planet Nibiru, a.k.a. Planet X. Wildfires out in the west coast, just drenching the lands with fire, as you can clearly see on your screen. Just yesterday, they had devastation in Italy, magnitude 6.2 earthquake leveling an Italian city. The mayor stated yesterday, we have no city left. It's gone. Now, Nibiru is definitely having effects on Earth. It's definitely pulling at our tectonic plates. The sun looks to me out of control. Coronal blasts out of almost four areas of the sun. These are Lasco uh, Space Telescope images you're seeing of the sun you can clearly see that the sun looks out of control. There is no doubt about it. Something is definitely happening in our solar system, and it is affecting Earth. Our magnetosphere, once again, it's out of control. UV rays hitting the Earth, once again, out of control. Now, getting into some photographs that I took today. Look at this photograph. If you've seen my other videos, you've seen planet Nibiru under very bold. Today, it was almost not even there. I took the photograph at the same place at the same time. This photograph was taken yesterday at 7 p.m. at the same place at the same and you can clearly see the planet. This is telling me one thing folks it's moving around the Sun. It is orbiting the Sun. Now some people can see it in the morning some people can see it in the evening. Now I had one of our viewers send me some photographs from Alaska. Take a look at these images. He was able to capture these images on an FAA uh, sky cam. Absolutely devastating. These photographs are proof that there is definitely something close to our Mother Earth, and it is having some serious effects on our planet. There is no way that you can sit there and say, like the trolls do that watch these videos and comment, that those are lens flares. Top of that, once again, Jamesville, New York. Two days in a row, I visualized the same UFO, but in different positions in a sky cam in Jamesville, New York. Folks, it's possible that UFO activity is definitely increasing in our skies. Possibly, they know what's happening. Now, let's get right to the astronomer divulging his information. Listen to what this man has to say. Because my name is Ken, and I work as a, an astronomer and a scientist for a government agency. All that I can say at this time, this footage here was personally taken by myself and another colleague at the WM Keck Observatory, which is located near the summit of Hawaii's Mona Kea. Uh, Major space agencies have been a bit distraught over the past months due to the fact that the solar system with which we live in and its planets have been changing uh, due to some unforeseen force that has entered the solar system. Well, it's not unforeseen to me or the few that have seen this footage, but it will be unseen to the larger part of the world. This here, let me pull it up, is an image of Saturn that we captured in early November of this year, 2014, after we had imaged Uranus uh, and imaged a growing massive storm on Uranus with enormous cloud systems so bright for that for the first time ever, we, along with other amateur astronomers, could see the D planet's atmosphere. We have never seen a storm like this on Uranus before. This type of activity uh, would have been expected in maybe around 2006-2007 when Uranus once every 42 year occurred and the sun shined directly on the equator. Uh, but we, have pre we predicted that such activity would have died down by now. Why we see these incredible storms now is beyond anyone's guess. Uh, that is until we began imaging Saturn uh, after detecting odd signal bursts coming from its direction. When we took this footage here, we realized a slight haze in the background of the planet, which you can see here on the original imaging. 
which showed up just barely brighter than the blackness of space. Uh, when we enhanced the image to see what was creating what we first thought was simple gas of some sort, we saw this here, which is what appears to be some sort of massive planetoid-shaped type object many times larger than Saturn approaching from behind Saturn coming into our solar system. Now, just a quick note here, the Rosetta mission to visit Comet 67P is actually geared towards studying this anomalous object, not some comet, and I can assure you that with 100% certainty. The only other guess of what this anomalous giant object could be is the beginning formation of a black hole. However, the data shows that this object is not only massive, but solid in form. Uh, now, we're not sure if it's a planet, or, but the imaging shows something that has the characteristics of such. I can't say much more at this time, except that the government knows about this and they are keeping tight-lipped throughout the research of this thing. I am risking possible arrest, even talking about it. I could not make any copies of these images off of this computer system due to some security fail-safes in the software that does not allow me to make copies. Any data being copied or sent from this system is logged, so the best that I could do is quickly make the cell phone recording images on the monitor here, and that's the best that I could get in this moment. The solar system is being affected by whatever this thing is. Because Uranus has no internal source of heat, its atmospheric activity was thought to be driven solely by sunlight, which is now northern hemisphere. Hence, we were completely taken by surprise when these observations showed such intense activity on the planet, which then led to further atmospheric image analysis of this and also Neptune and Saturn. I really have to go, but I will try to get more data on this as soon as possible. Well, everybody, that was definitely interesting. Listen, don't forget to share our videos with your friends and family members on Facebook. And always remember to subscribe. Welcome back to the Nibiru channel. It is August 24th, 2016. We have a lot of information to cover for you today. First things first, our atmosphere is heating up. Our oceans are heating up. If you take a look at the current map right now, this will clearly show you we have ocean temperatures coming close to 90 degrees. They are stirring up cyclones and hurricanes. And right now, the state of Florida, east coast of the United States, and possibly the Gulf of Mexico will be hit by multiple hurricanes. Now, there's only one thing in my mind that's heating this atmosphere up, and that's planet Nibiru, AKA planet X. Wildfires out in the west coast, just drenching the lands with fire, as you can clearly see on your screen. Just yesterday, they had devastation in Italy, magnitude 6.2 earthquake leveling an Italian city. 